All right, Buena Seta, good evening. It's your boy, Big Rich. You know what time it is. Time for some business. Mob Story Season 2. Gentlemen, wipe your feet on the rug. Throw some smoke in the atmosphere. I got some Jolly Ranchers mixed with a little bit of White Wizard. Let's go. A Gambino family soldier released by deposit. Now, this article was, uh, you know, translated from Italian to English. So... Some of the words, you know, released by deposit, bail, whatever, bond, whatever. Andrew Campos, charged with other members of the Gambino family, including captains Andrew Campos, Richard Martino, and soldiers George Campos and Vincent Fiore. Vincent Fiore has just been released on bail after agreeing to pay nearly a million dollars. Vincent Fiore's early release arrives late as the Gambino family soldier remains a key player in the case which would have allowed federal agents to make several arrests last December. So no, Vincent Fiore does not collaborate with the authorities, but the Gambino soldier was recorded on several occasions, compromising recordings which allowed the investigation to put the pieces of the puzzle together and confirm the presence of the Gambino family in the area of construction. Again, with the phones. Jesus. Indeed, These recordings are quite embarrassing for Vincent Fiore. They recorded his satisfaction to see Francisco Frank Cali being murdered. For a soldier of the Gambino family, raving about the death of his leader, this is a little contradictory with the oath of the allegiance that the future initiate takes to his family. But Vincent Fiore saw in his murder the possibility of seeing the functions of Andrew Campos, his captain within the Gambino family, and surely increase his own at the same time. The Christmas holidays have to pay bail of nearly $4.5 million. But faced with all these early releases, federal prosecutors have expressed their dissatisfaction with the federal judge and have also shown their astonishment to see Vincent Fiore, who was recorded several times threatening individuals, be so easily released from prison. But for the magistrate in charge of this file... The verdict pronounces far from shocking and according to the latter. The early release of the member of the Gambino family is justified that the bail of $1 million is guaranteed by his parents' properties based in Puerto Rico and Long Island as well as the house in New Jersey. Regarding the release of Andrew Campos, the judge justified himself. Already on the one hand that the bail issue remained very high, but also that the captain of the Gambino family was subject to very strict restrictions on his house arrest. Constraints so restricted for Andrew Campos that he would have complained to his lawyers that he could not even communicate with his own father, George, a soldier in the Gambino family, and also charged in this case. Federal prosecutors support for once in this file the judge's decision claiming that contact between father and son could be harmful in this case. While Andrew Campos requests to be in contact with his father, no, not to talk about business, but only so that the latter could visit his granddaughters in order to speak to him about parental and other family problems. All right, so salute. The article is from wiseguy.overblog.com, okay? And, of course, salute to Shattered. He found the article for me. Everybody have a good evening. huh? Wipe your feet on the way out, all right? We'll talk soon.